Hi Year 12, today we're going to look at a question from the 2019 Software Design and Development HSC exam. This is question 24A worth two marks and it's a desk check question. So we're given an algorithm and we're going to need to perform a desk check on that code with some sample test data uh, and see what the result is. And then in part B, we need to um, look at ways of um, simplifying the logic in the code and removing some lines of code and, and modifying others to produce the same output. So for part A, um, to perform a desk check, um, we should draw up a table. And firstly, um, before we draw up a table, we need to identify the different variables. So on line one, we have a variable called X. Line two, we have a variable called Y. Uh, then on line four, we have another variable called Z. Uh, there aren't any other variables in there, but on line 13, we're going to print out some output on screen. So we'll need four columns for our desk check table. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, and then four. Uh, we have X, Y, Z, and then we had uh, output. Okay, so if we look at line one, we have X equals one, so I'll write that in. Line two, we get Y. Now, uh, here it says, form a desk check on this code with Y equals two. So that's our test data there. So line two, Y is gonna be equal to two. And then we have a repeat until loop here. Okay, so this is a post-test loop, which means the code inside the loop runs before it tests the condition to see if the loop needs to run again. So Z is equal to Y on line four. So uh, Z is going to be two. Let's make sure that looks like an actual Z. <laughs> All right, uh, and then we move down to line five. If X is less than seven, which it is, then x is going to be a, equal to x plus one. So we go down to a new row, and x is now going to be equal to two. If x is less than eight, which it is, uh, then print x multiplied by z. So two times two, which is four. So we've got some output. That's the end of that if statement on line nine, uh, the end of the outer if statement on line 10, and then x is equal to x plus one one. Uh, so x is now going to be three. Okay, um, now we get to the condition on this uh, repeat until loop. Uh, so it's going to repeat until x is greater than eight, which it's not yet. So we'll go back up the top of the loop, z equals y. Okay, so z is now going to be equal to two. If x is less than seven, which it is, uh, we're going to increase x by one. So now it's four. If x is less than eight, which it is, we're then going to print x multiplied by z. So um, we're going to print out eight. Okay, end of this statement, end of the other if statement, and then increase x by one. So now it's five. All right, um, x is not yet greater than eight. So we repeat this loop again, Z uh, equals a Y. So um, again, Z is going to be two. If X is less than seven, so five is less than seven, uh, then X equals X plus one. So now that's six. If X is less than eight, which six is less than eight, then print x multiplied by seven. Okay. Oh, sorry, x multiplied by z. So six times two, which is 12. Okay, end that if statement, end the other if statement, and then x equals x plus one. So now x is seven. Um, is x greater than eight yet? No. So we repeat this loop again. Z equals uh, y. So again, z is going to be equal to two. Uh, we increase x by one again, so now it's eight. 
if x is less than 8. So x is no longer less than 8, it's equal to 8. So we skip this entire if statement here, and that's the end of the whole if statement. So we're down to line 10 here. Move on to line 11, x equals uh, x plus 1. So now x is 9. And um, this loop repeats until x is greater than 8. So x is now 9, which is greater than 8. So that's the end of the repeat until loop. And now we just print done. And that's it. Okay, so that's a desk check for question 24a. In part B, in the next video, we'll look at how to improve this algorithm. Thanks for watching.